Today we're going to check what's inside of this inverter, what makes this sure sign a very reliable and robust inverter. So like from my previous video where you can see the internals, this one the first part is I wasn't able to show you but on this case we're going to check. So uh, on the right side you can see this is the 12 volts connection and on your left side is your AC, the meter or also the MS, uh, MS view if you have the right uh, RS232 and it's pin. So based on the manual, so if you can check, the, the manual is 12 AWG on the AC side and on the DC side it's maximum wire is it's in here okay it's 6 AWG so that's the maximum so 12 oh no 6 AWG and you have 12 AWG on the side of the AC so as on the previous video this one is plastic it's going to open up this one is really very lost we have to try to unlock inverters and we need to turn this this is also very very good okay oops okay it's just a cover oh pretty nice so we have fins aluminum okay let's twist so that we could have a good view so we have the heat sink so this is made in taiwan just like an apple uh designed in us but manufactured in taiwan and we have the circuitry in here we have the fins for the heat sink and also the lugs the terminal lugs which is the six ewg okay so we have that let's contact and we have some 40 amps blade fuse so it's a blade fuse just like your battery uh, blade fuses and it's the pin so what we have on the other side are the holes which we're going to check I have here my inspection camera and we'll check what's what's in store for us. Let, let me turn it on. Okay. And let's check. There's a capacitor inside which is Two capacitor. Oh, there are three capacitors. Three capacitors. Let me see. This it's being blocked by the wire. Twenty four volts. Oh, I cannot just see what's the brand. Ah, let me see here on the other side. No, the brand I cannot see. At any rate, so we're going to check what's also on this side. And not much. I guess it's just a heat sink, I believe. And also in here. Let's see. Yes, yeah, just the connector pins. And. Uh huh. Uh, let me see on the other side if we'll be able to figure out oops okay 12 volts 2700 UF 25 volts sadly we, we weren't able to see the brand but We'll check. We're going to flip this and 
see what's on the on the other part of the inverter okay we just paste the cover for protection and let's flip okay so and it's oh wow it's pure toroid so we have a bigger toroid and two secondary toroids which are encapsulated in an epoxy resin so it won't move and it's also held by a large bolt it's bolted and the whole casing especially on the sides act as a heat sink so this is a pure aluminum uh, I've, uh, I have a thermal check on this uh, you can see it in the picture well uh, when this one works it glows because of the heat so it makes use of the entire casing as its heat sink so just to give you a comparison between this one how big is this one this is a 300 watts compared to a one kilowatt that i have let's set this thing aside and let's get the other unit which is this one is from the one kilowatt model and let's check let's put this aside first let's check how big so that is it's diameter is five and its height is Its height is around four and a half. Yes. So five and four and a half. So this one is roughly it's four and a half and from the ceiling down to its it's two and a half so four and a half in diameter that's yeah, so that's four and a half in diameter and two and a half so comparing the the, the two again you no know, they are somewhat close to each other well this one is the 24 volts 1 kilowatt inverter the toroid it's running and this one is the 300 watts uh, pure off with 12 volts so what others that you can see is from the earlier we can see that there's the capacitor and the two connections and it's pretty heavy it is because of its casing also now as you can see there are two secondary toroids transformers and one while the rest this one its secondary toroid is here only one see so U us designs are way different from the Chinese ones so that's what make this sure shine very very robust and reliable no no moving parts so the case uh, acts as a heat sink so it will run definitely if it's properly maintained and used I have this one uh, running for more than five years without any problem 
So I hope you like it. Thumbs up. And see you in the next video.